Hello my beautiful soul tribe, welcome back to my channel. This is Neetu. So today's pick a card reading is about understanding how your spiritual team, your spiritual guides, your angels communicate with you. Uh, we'll, we'll see what, what all they're trying to bring through to, uh, you know, bring your attention towards the signs, the symbols or how exactly they're trying to communicate with you. And also, uh, during the reading, we'll also check who are, uh, who is the spirit guide, spirit guide or angel who is very closely working with you right now and uh, if they have any messages for you all right so this particular card reading is about knowing how do your spiritual team communicate with you and who are they who is working closely with you at this point in time in your life to help you get through uh, whatever phase or whatever happening in your life right now all right as usual we have three piles here pile number one two and three i'll also be placing the object on top of each pile so you can uh, go ahead and select based on the object or you can select the pile as it is so once you make your selection you can jump straight into your uh, reading by clicking on the timestamps that i will be providing to you in the description box down below this video all right so it's time to pop some crystals on top of each pile for group number one we have a clear quartz crystal clear quartz crystal for group number two, we have this raw amethyst. And for group number three, we have a uh, chrysocolla. All right. So all three are very powerful uh, crystals. And also, let me tell you, as soon as I was shuffling, I was feeling energy all around me. It's like... It's like they want to tell you or they want to communicate with you or they have messages for you. But there is something very special about this reading. I'm really curious and uh, uh, looking forward to give you this reading. And uh, um, I really hope there are some very important messages or signs and symbols that they want to bring your attention towards. Okay, let's not... Uh, talk more about this and jump straight into your reading. Uh, right now, I'll be starting with group number one. Welcome group number one. If you have selected clear cords, this reading is for you. So let's get started. Uh, who is your spirit guide or angels? Who is working very closely with you and what are the signs and symbols that they are uh, giving you at this time? Okay, so to start with we have four of swords and strength and uh, uh, I'm getting this feeling that the spirit guide who is very closely working with you right now, he's trying to bring you a strength for sure, he's trying to bring you courage, he's trying to bring you take some actions or take this leap of faith or they are definitely pushing you towards taking certain decision or making some changes into your life and also I'm hearing bringing clarity into your life that you are seeking right now, you are like uh, you're, you're uh, right now kind of in the situation where you're thinking through things whether uh, to make this change whether to do this do that how how are you going to bring these changes into your life uh, so I'm I'm getting a lot of this confused energy muddled energy like uh, the water is very clear but right now it is all muddy and muddled and uh, they are helping you settle down uh, this mud or uh, this dirt so that you can see that clear water and gain clarity all right that is what i'm getting and also the spirit guide or uh, energy that is around you i'm feeling a lot of animal energy like a very strong animal spirit guide who is coming through it could be boar um, it could be a tiger lion anything that is about setting boundary the animals which uh, show you how to set boundary how to claim the power how to claim uh, what is truly yours all right i'm getting a lot of animal energy if you're seeing any of uh, the wild cats uh, that could be the sign or symbol uh, through which your uh, guides are trying to tell you to uh, you know you know what uh, you have this power but you are kind of overlooking yourself in some way and uh, it is time for you to show um, or, or give some credit to yourself and uh, acknowledge that how strong and powerful you are and they really want to claim your kingdom that is what coming through very strongly they want to claim uh, they want you to claim your kingdom like something that belongs to you and you're kind of um, either giving it away or you're giving way too much or you're way too generous and people don't reciprocate there is something about setting boundaries and uh, claiming what is yours or uh, setting that boundaries any wild cats if you see around or in a picture or when you're browsing something uh, like animal 
uh, animal like boar, tiger, or lion. These are all some of the signs and symbols through which they uh, communicate. As of now, I'm picking up a lot of animal energy. Uh, they want to bring some fun into your life. This could also be uh, about settling your emotions. Maybe you're running high on your emotions right now. They really want to settle your emotions and want to bring bring forth some calmness into your life group number one that is what i'm getting again and again to bring forth some calmness into your life like settling the water uh settling the that man uh, mud down uh to the ground so that you can see see things clearly uh that is what i'm picking up as of uh, now but let's see all right look at that we have magic guardian and lock the magic within wow didn't I tell you they want to unlock something like they want you to know how how strong you are, how magical you are. All right. Definitely there is a lot of uh, uh, energy and also we have snake here. Uh, sorry, butterfly here and we have all a very wise old uh, wisdom energy that i'm picking up on this could be very strongly your spirit animal who is coming through very strongly who is very strong very wisdomous they want to offer you this cup of wisdom this knowledge this power this magic it is not that they're giving you a cup of magic they are telling you that you are magic you are filled with magic but you are overlooking it somehow all right we have magic guardian coming through and this could very well be your passed on love one this could be your ancestor because white witch for me it is very strongly indicating ancestor energy and also the wisdom the all uh, it is all about uh, uh, ancestor not not exactly who passed on recently it could be somebody way way uh, 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 beyond your imagination can take you as of now because uh, this is an ancestral line or ancestral energy that is coming through that i'm picking up on one is about your spirit animal which is around you which is uh, really forcing you and pushing you towards making certain changes and also the uh, the relevant information or wisdom or knowledge that you require right now is being brought by your ancestral lineage all right if you want to check on your ancestral line uh, lineage like from where do you come from where do your family come from definitely there is some something about your ancestral wisdom um okay and i'm picking i'm 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 short of breath actually. <laughs> they want to bring out a lot of messages and it is too much for me to handle at this point. Um wow so this butterfly definitely you're going through some sort of transformation or or you're getting into this next phase for which they're trying to bring in a lot of wisdom and knowledge all right get grounded empaths highly sensitive connect connect with the nature and then we have soul family wow look at that and we also have dolphin uh, yeah as i was telling you it is about they're trying to bring in some fun from joy some happiness into your life and soul family this is definitely from your soul family from your past life some uh, uh, ancestral lineage or somebody uh, that walked the path that uh, that uh, you are taking right now so there is a lot of energy which which shows yeah look at that this is a pretty old soul and we have a tree here tree is uh, supposed to be one of the oldest souls that exist on earth like like trees wow this is definitely your ancestral root group number one very strong ancestral energy coming through like they want you to get this uh get into the space of uh, calmness grounded and to understand uh, your ancestral energy from where do you come what is your purpose or how can you incorporate this knowledge of your ancestors into your current day uh, uh in your day-to-day -day activities probably and we have a uh, white witch here which not necessarily uh, uh you know about uh anything bad as you see in the movies it is definitely not which is somebody who can can uh, who can uh, add, uh, add the spell into the life uh, the spell to turn around life it is it is as as good as law of attraction it is as good as making potions like using uh, uh herbs into your daily activities like they want to bring forth messages they want you to understand what is your ancestral lineage or ancestral energy how can you incorporate their uh, knowledge and wisdom into your day-to-day -day life and that is what i'm picking up uh, uh on and also uh, water is very prominent trees nature water the these are all very strong indication uh, or you may feel really calm when you are around nature when you are around the uh, uh 
around water you may feel really calm or that is what they are indicating you for you to take a break or uh, go somewhere near water or get grounded walk in the nature if you have an option to do that or uh, you know growing plants within your indoors so that you can look at that and uh, and really enjoy that but as of now i'm getting a lot of animal energy and ancestral energy owl and um the soul family trees it is all about ancestral energy all right so look look for signs when you are around trees when you are in nature when you are walking around all right so any a uh, different shape of uh, of uh, of leaf or uh, um stone or crystals through which they communicate or they come through and uh, water your emotions your feelings all right suddenly you may feel high or low in your emotions and see what what are the emotions trying to tell you this feelings are trying to tell you because mostly your uh, your uh, a spiritual team or spiritual ancestral energy that is coming through want to connect you through your emotions and feelings like uh, when you're feeling glow suddenly they may come in to bring joy like suddenly you feel overwhelmed with uh, the change in emotion like you you won't get up and do something about it and not just sit and waste uh, your energy about uh, crying about something these are all the sudden shifts that are bringing you they are they are communicating you through uh, through nature through stones or any peculiar stones that uh, grabs your attention or you may you may collect leaves and keep it uh, uh, you know uh, in the book or you are collecting something of those sorts and also um, feather especially brown feather is a uh, very prominent like brown and white uh, uh, mixed color kind of a feather is what they are showing all right so these are all some of the signs and symbols through which they are trying to communicate and they are coming very strongly let me tell you group number 1 they are coming through very strongly to tell you that uh, you know what you don't have to worry we are there here you just have to see what is that uh, what is that wisdom you can take from your ancestral energy and can incorporate today because looks like your ancestral lineage is definitely magical with this which energy you guys have this capacity to uh, do the work with the herbs work with plants. and uh, some uh, uh, herbalism is what i'm hearing like adding some herbs into your tea or uh, having your own herbs herbal garden uh, there is something about it they want you to really focus and concentrate on how can you make your life much more natural much more organic and that is what they are trying to tell maybe there is a the changes that you want to bring in or i don't know but they are showing really a beautiful herbal garden and uh, yeah and when you sit there at peace they will come through so strongly you cannot deny it anymore okay come to the edge treasure island look at that we have again water we have another water animal like uh, we have uh, the turtle going on here treasure island and come to the edge definitely they are trying to push you to the edge to make certain changes into your life uh, all right and uh, uh, treasure island they want to show you how how important you are in life and they are pushing you towards what is really important for you in life they are trying to help you make certain changes in your life at this point in time which is very much essential for you for your growth for for your expansion uh, spiritually uh, physically mentally in all aspects of your life all right and the water looks very prominent so that means a lot of feelings involved uh, they communicate through feelings through emotions um and uh, they are also indicating that you can use water to manifest things all right uh, set your intention by holding a glass of water and that will work perfectly fine for you uh, for you to manifest anything because a uh, lot of witchy energy lot of herb herbalistic energy uh, ancestral energy that is coming through very strongly and uh, telling you to get grounded get into the roots understand what is really important uh, from the base what is important for you to build a very strong foundation for yourself so that you can grow big and wide and uh, with such lush greenery and uh, uh, there there should be a lot of trees lot of trees garden herbal tea, uh, uh, trees uh, plants sorry herbal plants and they are seeing that energy movement in the plants when i'm speaking like you can connect to nature you can connect to herbs if you if you were worrying uh, if you already knew and were not sure this is your indication that you are you could be a green witch as well right we have white witch here you could be a green witch as well and then we have elmoria awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love my god this is absolutely good and we have crystal here 
uh, they definitely communicate to you through crystals uh, if you are drawn to any crystal don't hesitate to buy it because it is their indication that they may guide you towards any crystal so feelings are very strong here you may feel a strong urge to do something and that is how they communicate crystals stones uh, uh, wide varieties of uh, leaves that catch your attention um, you know animal guides when you're uh, uh, when you're scrolling and you see this uh, wild cats is what they're showing and uh, to add to that any water animals like turtle uh, dolphin these are all the indication that they are showing to you that we want you to be like that animal or we want you to be having this uh, joy uh, joyful life but uh, we see that you are worrying a lot and we are trying to bring forth uh, this change into your life and these are all the message i'm going to give very strongly and this is how you're in uh, your spirit team is trying to connect with you and uh, uh, to just to sum it up very quickly i'm very strongly picking up on ancestral energy it is not necessarily the recently passed one it is somebody from your ancestral lineage who's trying to connect with you they want you to see what is uh, the ancestral uh, 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 roots that you belong to because there is something about you uh, incorporating that into your life today to bring peace joy and happiness into your life you could be very well good in uh, a manifestation using water and they communicate to you uh, through uh, feelings through emotions uh, if you are very strong you may also feel their touch or energy or hot flash or hot air around you and it is an indication that your guides are around you it is not spooky it is absolutely a beautiful experience and you will uh, going to gain more understanding about it as you uh, go forward but as of now these are all the messages that i'm receiving uh, look look out for all this uh, signs and symbols all right so uh, if you are interested in herb herbal or herbal garden uh, grow one and definitely they will come through very strongly to connect with you through your emotions and a uh, feather a brown feather again uh, a red brown uh, not completely white but uh, a cream color or or a faded white kind of feather is what they are showing me and uh, crystals of course yeah that's all i'm getting for you group number one and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have liked the video please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye welcome group number two if you have selected this beautiful raw amethyst this reading is for you let's get started and see who are your spirit guides or angels and uh, what is that they're trying to tell you how are they communicating with you right now okay so this looks like ancestral energy again even in group number one they had some ancestral energy coming through this is definitely somebody who is your passed on loved one loved one that is uh, the first energy that i'm receiving this is somebody who has passed on recently or some time back for group number one we were getting the energy of somebody uh very old ancestral energy for you it is it could be somebody who recently passed on or that you knew or that you met in your lifetime or uh, uh or that you may have come across after uh, you you know checking your uh, album or something and you ask who is this and that is a very strong loved one energy that i'm getting you somehow feel that you're connected to this loved one uh, or or somebody that you kind of feel drawn to in a way all right that is what i'm getting and this could be a ancestral energy uh, from this lifetime past lifetime and also i'm picking up on star energy like star beings energy you have a lot of uh, stars that is shown here right now and uh, probably they're working with you right now in order to bring in some sort of uh, uh, or uh, help you build a legacy help you build something of your own help you to understand uh, how you can uh, channel your energy towards building your own ent uh, enterprise or uh, or business or there is something that you're trying to build of your own and this energy is coming through very strongly maybe they were good at building uh, their own uh, legacy maybe they have their own legacy that you want to take forward and uh, there are a lot of disputes happening in the family regarding that uh, right uh, see however it is resonating with you but i'm picking up a lot of uh, passed on loved one energy who who could be 
right now with you helping you in terms of you building something on your own building something that is going to bear fruit for a long period of time like legacy like it will be there for your children your grandkids and things like that or uh, this is something that people will remember for what you are doing right now uh, so there is something about you building something on your own maybe there is a lot of dispute they are trying to come through to help you understand what is important in life what is that uh, you are or how is that you can center and channel your energy towards that all right so that is what i'm picking up very strongly here uh, let's see okay we have the sun we have the star ancestors look at that we have a pyramid here we have a star ancestor going on here and then we have a sun okay this could very well be your ancestor from other realm if you if you recognize yourself as star seed uh, then it is definitely your star star guides who are coming through uh, or this could be your uh, ancestral energy from your own lineage that you have taken birth into but or uh, from your past life also because we have sun this is a very strong very powerful very radiant and uh, and very very strong energy that is coming through group number two like they know exactly what you want or they're trying to give you that kind of clarity uh to you for you to be able to focus towards that exactly uh that you're trying to build you may have some confusion that is going on right now but this is very strong this is something that you are going to build uh that will last like for a very 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 long time this is something you're destined to do that you want to do or probably you're thinking of doing or you're unsure of doing it or whatever is the reason but they're definitely trying to help you to build something that is going to last forever uh, ever that is that is very strong and uh, that is going to help others as well all right this could be this could very well be about helping others or bring, building a community of your own uh and this this ancestor is definitely trying to tell you that you are going to shine you are going to build this whatever that legacy that you are trying to build and uh, do not doubt yourself and that is exactly what they are trying to uh, bring the message to do not doubt yourself and also sun coming through so strongly it is about you working with the uh, energy of uh, of sun or you soaking in some sun and getting uh, uh you know like energy from sun or so sun bath of some sort uh, you know there is something that related to sun is absolutely essential for you and i am also seeing sunflower that could be one of the sign through which they communicate uh the sun itself uh you know the radi the uh, the radiant uh, sun if you see that picture of sun anywhere uh that could very well be one of the reasons sun star and i'm also seeing moon this This, this could very well be your ancestral lineage from other planet other realm uh, your star uh, constellation from wherever you came all right so this ancestor belonged to that place and that is very strong and uh, yeah and it feels calm as well it is uh, for group number 1 it was all excited like i couldn't catch my breath while speaking with your group i have gone completely calm like uh, messages are coming slow and steady and they they just want you to know that you got this you don't have to go towards what is that you want to build and this legacy whatever that you have come here on earth to do you will be doing it do not worry about it do not break your head about it just plan calmly uh, and uh, take one step at a time and we got your back. that that is the message or the energy that i'm picking up on group number 1 which is fantastic okay transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing so there is a lot of transformation that is going on let me tell you group number 2 uh, there is a lot of transformation that is going on globally for everyone everyone are experiencing this transformation in one form or other for everyone old things are shedding away like they don't feel they belong there anymore so a lot of newness is emerging in everybody's life and you are no different and for you especially it is coming through in form of lot of star ancestral energy from different planet um 
from probably you 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 belong to some star constellation or star beings uh, if you resonate with stars there is a lot of star seed energy uh, you could very well resonate with light working energy healing with sun is all about healing and bringing joy into your life and also into others life so you could very well be a healer uh, some sort of therapist or in some way shape or form you are here to help others as well uh, in the process of helping yourself so there is a lot of healing that is happening and we have a lot of egyptian energy going on here as well so definitely you're getting uh, you have a very strong spiritual team uh, all right the spirit guides uh, may be somebody who is passed on recently and also somebody who belong to very ancient uh, earth or uh, from uh, from uh the, from the star ancestry as well all right so there is a lot of support around you right now and uh, they are definitely uh you know uh, trying to give you this message of do not worry things are going to be fine and also a uh, cat could be one of your sign or symbol through which they communicate yeah as i was telling there could be uh, this cat or moon suns uh, stars uh, you know these are all the energies that i'm picking up on this is extraordinary uh, amazing calming and soothing energy and yet like like going and getting what they want kind of energy in their own style in their own swag, uh, swag is what i'm uh, picking up on group number uh, do and then we have trust the nickel what is niggling feeling trying to tell you yes you kind of know what is that you want to do as i was telling you there is a lot of uh, uh, confusion as of now or you are unsure whether this is what you want or you are in fight with yourself whether this is what you want to do and things like that and this particular ancestral energy or star energy that is coming through very strongly to tell you that um you are destined to do this all right there is no second thought about that and that is what i'm picking up on and you have a free will whether to reject it or follow it all the way through you have a free will to do and we are nobody to impose things on you or not not your ancestors for that matter but this something that you have this feeling of doing something it is definitely something that you are uh, probably destined to do or uh, or you have a strong urge to do all right uh, so this is um uh, all right i'm i'm just trying to focus yeah they 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 are showing this word uh, calm and cool and chill be being being all right and being comfortable with this energy because you are headed towards something big all right you are headed towards something big they want you to really have this calm and centered energy uh, all right and they come through very strongly when you are confused all right they come through very strongly when you are confused like uh, like they'll divert your attention towards uh, uh, towards a motivational video or towards uh, somebody that is going to motivate you all right and uh, uh, that is how they are communicating with you like diverting your attention constantly like you you get lost and you get into this deep thinking and they suddenly divert your energy uh, divert your attention um uh is is what i'm picking up on uh group number 2 uh, and there is there is this uh, energy of feline like cat uh feline energy is coming through very strongly it could be cat it could be um any sort of cat like wild cat is uh, what i'm picking up on and also and also it is about solar plexus chakra that they are showing um like you may feel butterflies in your stomach or you may feel uh, uh this urge to do things and these are all the urges and nudges and pushing you to do certain things or take action or uh, uh, diverting your attention constantly towards uh staying positive staying calm staying grounded stay uh, being motivated uh, these are all somehow they are trying to connect with you and tell you that you got this you just have to maintain a uh, calmness and silence as of now because you are headed towards a major major breakthrough or changes into your uh, life 
all right so look at that we have loyal heart we have two alls it is absolutely a uh, beautiful confirmation that it is definitely an ancestral energy coming through thinker look at that we have 44 as well uh, we have 44 for, 44 is always uh, for me a personality is angels number it could very well be your angels as well who are coming through but uh, majorly as of now the star ancestry or this ancestral energy who is working with you right now thinker as i told you they come through very strongly when you're thinking hard when you are uh, getting confused when you don't know what to do that is when they come through very strongly uh, they divert your attention all right they divert your attention towards something that is worth uh, your time energy and effort and they do it constantly it is not like uh, they get bored of doing it is not that they're definitely uh, somebody who is going to constantly uh, push you and change you towards uh being confident, being courageous and motivate you somehow and uh, that is how they they communicate with you by diverting your thought, the sudden thought that emerges, that roots inside of you out of nowhere, you'll be so dull, you'll be bored yet suddenly out of nowhere you get this thought of doing something uh, out of the blue and uh, that is the thought uh, or intention planted by your uh, the spirit guide who is working with you very closely on this particular building legacy uh, project that, that you are working on and we have loyal heart and uh, they love you very dearly all right they love you very dearly they want you to have uh, this wonderful uh, life that you are aiming at and you are definitely somebody who is going to heal somebody else's heart you far for that you will have to heal yourself first and uh, probably you're going through that process of healing your heart but this guy definitely loves you very dearly they they hold you very dear to their heart and they know exactly where you're headed and what is that uh, you are aiming at all right so there is a lot of uh, feelings that is involved in their signs and sing uh, symbols uh, really like for group number one we had so many signs and symbols that i was able to give them uh, give it to them but for you it is all about thinking like when you think and also we have a lot of stars going on here this is this could very well be your star ancestor group number two that is amazing and uh, you could uh, you, and they're showing the cloud cloud images when you are looking at the sky the cloud image may resonate with something that you had in mind or the image of the cloud the formation of the cloud may resonate with you or alignment of the stars may resonate with you you may resonate with astrology as well uh, to some extent so if you're looking up at how stars are aligned how what is the astrological factor that is going on you may be keen on understanding that as well for some of you but it is definitely about star moon sun which is absolutely important for you or uh, the signs that symbols through which your angels uh, which which with which your guides are communicating with you right now all right or egyptian things if you resonate with as Egyptian uh, energy, if you are resonating with that pyramid, uh, triangle, uh, yeah, see look at that clouds i didn't notice i just noticed the clouds here yeah formation of the clouds like you look up at the sky and it it has some message for you that is how i'm picking oh look at that we have diana focused intention then i tell you channeling your attention and energy towards uh the thing that the that very thing that you want to achieve and diana uh diana is supposed to be uh the moon goddess uh in greek or roman mythology i'm sorry if i'm wrong but she is supposed to be the moon goddess look at that we have sun we have moon and we have stars uh, we have clouds we have sky we have alignment of stars that is going on there is deep healing that is going on for you definitely a very strong ancestral energy from the different planet or from different star con constellation if you uh, resonate with or egyptian time uh, there is something about a very very strong team of spiritual uh, guides that are working with you right now in order to help you to bring this uh, build this le legacy and also remember it is about uh, it is about uh, uh, and also about changing your thinking towards constantly towards uh, where you have to focus yeah it is all about their uh, the way they communicate is they constantly put you towards 
the right path towards the right thinking towards what is really important to you you kind of sliding down and they bring you up you slide down and they bring you up and this happens constantly for you and that is how they are communicating with you and hopefully this will really help you and uh, will help you understand uh, in some ways that they are trying to communicate with you and who are these beings who are communicating with you all right hope you enjoyed this video hope you like this video if you are like please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in my ne next video love you all take care bye bye welcome group number three if you have selected chrysocola this reading is for you let's get started and see what is going on who is your spirit guides and how are they trying to communicate with you okay so uh, first of all uh, i'm getting this energy all around me which means they are trying to communicate with you through energy you may feel hot you may feel cold a sudden wave of uh, uh, air or uh, a whisper or a touch or um, and i'm also uh, getting this sudden outburst of energy like you suddenly want to do something sorry i went silent for a second because i was uh, focusing on what is that image they were trying to show me like they were trying to show that a sudden outburst of joy or energy uh within you like this passion uh towards doing something when you're feeling really dull or bored and also right now they're working with you in order to uh, help you uh, focus your energy towards what is really important to you to you uh, and not about what you have lost or what is that uh, suffering that you have been through uh, they are also telling that it is time for you to recover it is time for you to heal it is time for you to stand up uh, strong than ever stronger than ever before and uh, that is the aspect of your life that you are uh, this particular spirit guide is coming through very strongly to tell you that uh, it is time it is time for you to shine again it is time for you to uh, you know um, uh, to really focus on yourself as well and uh, that is so immediately the energies if you feel all around you the touch the feel the hot breeze or if you feel uh, you know like uh, uh urge to do something or not just to uh, pursue something or this passionate energy uh, that is your spirit guide who is trying to come through to uh, change your attention or change your focus towards what is really important in your life okay so we have great teacher learn from spiritual experience spirit fox look at that so this is pretty straightforward we have spirit fox going on here trust your talents in changing times look at that trust your challenge in your trusting time so your spirit guides is definitely a spirit animal and also i'm picking up on uh, ascended master energy all right ascended master uh, or a very very wise soul who who hardly incarnates on earth anymore all right they may incarnate only when it is really essential or there is something that they want to uh, spread a message on earth otherwise they do not incarnate so that is the energy that i'm picking up on and also fox spirit they really want to they really want you to tap into this talent that probably you are overlooking or you don't believe in yourself with regards to this particular talent and uh, your spirit animal and this and uh, ascended master or this very wise soul uh, energy that is coming through this may not be your ancestor this may not be uh, from your lineage all right this is this soul uh, energy that i'm getting is a very wise uh, uh, illuminated soul that i'm getting and uh, they are definitely helping you uh, tap into the talent tap into the reservoir of the energy reservoir of the talent that you have safely hidden somewhere deep inside they are trying to tap help you tap into that particular thing and the signs and symbols as i told you this uh, the fox could be the symbol uh, this bird dog could be the sing symbol and also we have life a uh, flower of life that is going on behind this that could be the symbol they are uh, trying to help you liberate help you free from uh, having all this uh, heavy energy because i don't think so you are here on earth to carry this heavy energy or carry this heavy burden on to your shoulder you are here to be free you are here to live your life in your own uh, in your own sense of uh, uh, you know 
uh, in your in your own terms uh, you know, and really embracing it and not being bound by somebody else's way of living or following the normal way how anybody else live looks like you have your own identity in your own style uh, you have your own dreams of how your life is supposed to be and this uh, this this wise energy and i'm going to refer it to ascended master again he is definitely a master soul a master guide that is coming through uh, who is telling you you know what you are supposed to be like that you are supposed to be free you are not to be bound by somebody else's idea or vision of who you are supposed to be or how your life is supposed to be you are supposed to be a free spirit like wolf you know like it also has a pact and uh, 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 wolf pact but uh, at the same time it has its own individuality it is not bound or uh, forced by anybody else and you are supposed to be this wild wolf like wild uh, untamed energy this raw energy that you have and that is how you are supposed to live and it is time for you to wake up get up and realize how strong these uh or how important this is for you all right and that is where your um, ascended master or this master soul that is coming through and as of now it is about feather brown feather brown feather is def definitely very famous in today's reading because even in group number 1 and 2 we had this brown feathers coming through very strongly and this is exactly what i saw a uh, red brown feather with white hues or uh, or a complete brown feather is going to be one of the symbol for you we have two spirit animals coming through uh, Uh, all right and um, uh, that is very strong for you okay so keepers of the earth wow no wonder i was feeling such such ancestral not not ancestral such a wise energy can you see that keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you and keepers of the earth are not somebody who is who is going to reincarnate like us like anybody on, on earth they are going they are the keepers of the earth they are the keepers of the knowledge they are the keepers of the wisdom what this earth has gained and that is your spirit guide uh, all right and we have lot of wings going on here birds are going to be a very strong symbol for you uh, hawk especially actually hawk is going to be a very strong symbol or uh, uh, for you to uh, eagle and hawk is what they are showing is going to be a very strong sign or symbol for you uh, feather brown feather is going to be a very strong symbol for you and uh, a keeper of earth definitely you are here to enjoy this earth enjoy the nature looks like you are you have incarnated on earth to experience freedom to experience uh, being uh, completely free enjoying the nature enjoying the luxury of the earth enjoying the bounty of the earth uh, uh, just just being here enjoying your life with all that this earth has to offer in a very good purest way you are not supposed to be tamed or contained or put into a cubicle or put into a box and people telling you, you know what this is what life is uh, unfortunately you cannot accept that you are a free spirit and uh, earth is like earth is your school earth is your home um, or uh, that is that is at least uh, that is why at least you have come here to be experiencing the freedom to be happy to be flying like a bird to be able to travel to be able to meet people to meet different culture uh, uh, a wide variety of experiences uh, so that is why you have incarnated and uh, <laughs> the spirit guide with you right now is this wise beautiful soul uh, the master guide the master soul and uh, wolf energy coming through very strongly a spirit animal is also accompanying with you right now look at that we have pillar of light your vibration is ra raising you are the oracle wow your vibration is raising and uh, that is the reason you are you have such uh, wise soul a master guide with you uh, who is helping you free yourself from uh, this chained uh situation of yours or you may feel chained chained or stuck and uh, you you may not be able to resonate with uh what is going on around you anymore because your vibration is raising you cannot uh, feel this uh, uh, belong uh, it's a sense of belonging uh, with uh, with uh, 
the current situation that is going on around you maybe you're feeling too suffocated irritated or you may want to just break free just go sit in the nature just uh, hug the tree and that is the kind of energy that i'm picking up because your vibration is raising you cannot resonate with anything anymore because you are ascending you are getting into this next level spiritually physically mentally and you cannot uh, i repeat you cannot force yourself to be in this old ways if you are getting this urge to change your ways change your uh, lifestyle uh, yeah lifestyle change is something they are showing you a very large you are you are going to do a lot of changes uh, around your life you are going to do a lot of lifestyle changes you may feel like you have to eat organic um, or uh, garden grown fresh fruits or vegetables uh, or something like that you will you will be leaning towards a lot of uh, being in alignment to light being in alignment to what is right being in alignment to uh, uh, completely organic is what i'm getting like you are definitely your vibration is raising this is amazing look at that we have clover which is good luck like you are reaching again the sense of freedom like you want to be this you want to enjoy this freedom you want to be able to run behind uh, butterflies and uh, sleep in the meadow listen to the birds and that is what look at that we have higher power coming through your higher self is also coming through very strongly and we have number 4 this could be number of angels not could be i i resonate 4 to be the number of angels and you have angel coming through and um, higher power this could be your higher self as well you are working with a very high vibrational team right now who are very closely helping you raise your vibration uh, all right you are somebody who is here to do this job of keepers of the earth like you are here to preserve preserve the beauty of earth maybe you are drawn to uh, uh, nature you want to preserve nature you want to preserve the beauty of nature you are drawn to such things and no wonder you are very high vibrational being you are from a very high vibrational living or lifestyle probably you haven't done before you are drawn towards uh, changing your lifestyle to be very high vibrational lifestyle you are going to do a lot of changes in your life and uh, uh, that is what i'm picking up on this is very high vibration a uh, group look at that we have, <laughs> we have master jesus didn't i tell you master guide master jesus is coming through like definitely ascended master is working very closely with you jesus we have wolf going on we have master guide who is definitely helping you right, uh, to raise your vibration to uh, free you uh, from uh, the burden from the chained environment or uh, whatever that is going on for you you are supposed to be enjoying this lifetime you are supposed to be free you are supposed to be this free spirit person um and your signs and symbols are definitely feather uh, all right and uh, hawk um uh, uh, eagle hawk and uh, rainbow all right they are also showing a rainbow is going to be another symbol and we have clover here through which they are going to communicate um yeah <sighs> i'm just seeing if i've missed anything and also they are showing yeah an energy uh, energy if you feel energy around uh, around you you can feel that energy around you because it is very high vibrational energy and your own vibration is raising so you will be able to perceive them slowly steadily you can perceive them around you all right Wow this is amazing high vibrational reading for you group number 3 hope you have liked the video hope you have enjoyed it and if you have liked please subscribe to my channel uh, love you all take care see you in my next video bye bye